If you've heard about the Rode Streamer X, then you know you can do a dual PC setup for streaming. But did you know you could do a PC and iPad setup for streaming? That's what we're going to check out in this video. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rode Streamer X capture slash audio device. And this thing is relatively new, but there's already a lot of review videos on this. Uh, that talk all about the specs and all the things that it can do and how awesome it is. But in this video, I want to focus specifically on using this as an audio device for both your PC and for your iPad. Now, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I do the majority of my recording with an iPad Pro, and that's what I'm recording with right now. And in fact, I've got a microphone plugged in right here, and you're actually hearing me talk through that microphone, which is being captured into this iPad Pro. So spec-wise, we know that it's got two USB ports back here, USB-C ports that you can do a dual PC setup with. And I've got one of them going over to my computer where I'm running the Unify software. And I've got one of them coming right over here to this iPad Pro. In fact, I'm actually just using a standard USB-C to USB-A cable. And it's plugging into a docking station, which is right down here holding my iPad Pro. And it's the Tobin 1 docking station that I recently reviewed on the channel check that out right up here somewhere. Now we know this thing is a 4K capture device for video as well as an audio interface, but in this video I'm just going to be focusing on the audio interface part of it. I'm hoping someday we can also use the video capture coming through here into an iPad Pro also. Elgato's got some stuff working right now with their capture devices capturing straight to an iPad Pro, so I'd like to see that come out with Rode. But for right now we're just going to talk about an audio interface. So Rode is a great name in audio interfaces and microphones and all kinds of audio stuff. They've been around forever, and they are industry leaders in this new space of podcasting and streaming. They're doing their best to get a bunch of awesome products out for people that have them for multiple uses. And the easiest way to think about this is to think about this as a one-input version of, let's say, their Rodecaster Pro for podcasting. And I say that because it uses the same Unify software to control it. And sometimes you don't need four XLR inputs if you're just a streamer or even if you're a solo podcaster or if you're a podcaster that uses something like Zoom or some other platform to record with other remote hosts. Now, even though this is a simplified version of like the Rodecaster, you still have all the power of all the Unify software plus you have the power of all of their microphone preamp and microphone conditioning and effects. Plus you get the power of all these sound pads or you can use these for multiple different things and they are so cool. So like I said, I've got a couple things plugged in here. I've got the XLR cable which is going to the microphone that I'm talking in. I've got my headphones plugged in and I have the option of using an eighth inch jack or quarter inch jack. I've got one USB-C cable going to PC1 which is actually a PC. I've got the other USB-C cable, which is going to PC2, which is actually this iPad Pro, and then, of course, the power cable. Now, you can run this directly to the iPad without going to the PC. So if I just plugged in just this cable straight to the iPad Pro, that would work. But then you don't have any control over anything because it's not running the Unify software on the iPad. So by having this cable plugged in to the PC, I can run the Unify software, and I can do things like this. I just reached over to my computer and I pulled up the volume slider on the mixer and Unify for my browser input. Now this doesn't have all the nice sliders like you do on the Rodecaster Pro or the Rodecaster Pro 2, but if you can use the software instead, then it's pretty easy. You just set all your audio devices or your different programs and windows to different virtual sliders and then you can adjust them with Unify. Now, right now, I've got some stream beats playing from Harris Heller. So thank you to Harris Heller for putting out some awesome stuff that we can put on our videos and on our streams without getting any kind of copyright strikes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that slider back down. And this is where I reach out to Rode and say, hey, if you want to do something really cool, let us control Unify with these sound pads. I would love to be able to just volume up and volume down any of my channels with these but right now we can do sound effects we can we can do different types of voice modifications 
and then we can control anything through MIDI. And that's a really advanced way of controlling different audio devices or different devices in general, and we'll leave that for a different video. But for right now, I just want to get you thinking outside the box if you have one of these, or maybe if you're looking at getting one of these, you don't have to just use it for streaming. You don't have to just use it for podcasting. I'm using it right now to make a YouTube video. And you could just as easily use this for an audio input into your iPad for something like Zoom or any other type of streaming service. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know what you think about this and how you could use it in different ways than what it's intended for. I may even start using the video capture side of it while I'm building computers so I can actually have the computer that I'm building captured into here and then I can record the audio and the video at the same time instead of having to mix it together as I'm video editing. But that's about it. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. Check out the channel. There's a bunch of other audio devices I've checked out. So go ahead and check those out also. So that's going to do it for this one. I thank you as always for watching. And until next time, peace out and geek out.